Greetings fellow nature enthusiasts, in today's video we have thrilling adventure in store for you, as we explore the National Museum of Natural History. Located in Sofia, this remarkable institute is not only the richest natural history museum on the Balkan Peninsula, but it also houses an astonishing collection of over 1 million specimens, including the bugs. From stuffed animals to minerals, this museum is a treasure trove of biodiversity. So let's embark the journey and uncover the wonders within. For only 5 euros you can see everything with your own eyes. And now we proceed to the second floor where the reptiles and birds are located. And this is the National Museum of Natural History with its vast collection of stuffed animals, plants, minerals and fossils. This museum offers an incredible opportunity to delve into the natural world. It boosts more than 400 species of mammals, 1-200 species of birds and a wide range of amphibians, reptiles, insects and other invertebrates. Not to mention fascinating fossil specimens including bones, bone fragments and whole skeletons. Tracing the historical journey, the National Museum of Natural History has captivating history. It was established in 1889 as the National History Museum of Tsar Ferdinand. Back in 1889, the Bulgarian monarch Ferdinand arranged his personal collection of Bulgarian and tropical birds, mammals and butterfly in the hall of the palace. Thus were laid the foundation of the first Bulgarian museum. Over the years it has grown and evolved becoming a significant center for zoology and botany in Bulgaria. Unfortunately during the World War II the museum building was destroyed in the bombing of Sofia. However it was rebuilt and regained its prominence. Today it stands as independent institute under the Bulgarian Academy of Science. The museum underwent particularly intensive development under the management of Dr. Ivan Bureš, member of the Bulgarian Academy of Science, who ran the museum from 1914 to 1959. At the time it was called the Royal Museum and laid the foundation of the Royal Natural and Scientific Institute established in 1918. Expedition to our Bulgarian mountains and to the neighbor Balkan countries were organized to enrich the museum collection. Many new animals and plant species were discovered. The museum turned into main center of studies of natural science in Bulgaria. After the war the building was restored to its previous condition and the new exposition was opened for visitors in 1948. During the reorganization of the Bulgarian Academy of Science in 1947 it was the first institution to become a division of the academy. The same year, on the basis of the museum collection, three new academic institutes were established – zoological, botanical and geological. Only the zoological collection remained in the building, such is the state of the museum until 1974 when director became academician Ivan Kostov. Thanks to its indisputed authority and tireless efforts, The exposition enlarged a capating 16 house, once again exhibiting minerals, rocks, fossils and plants. Mm -hmm. 
But now let's talk a little bit about the life of Ivan Burish. The family of Ivan Burish. Ivan Joseph Burish was born on 27 of December 1885 in the family of the chess photographer Joseph Burish, who came to Bulgaria during the Russo-Turkish War, accompanying the Russian troops as photographer. After the liberation he remained living in Bulgaria and thus becoming part of the chess specialist who contributed to its modernization. After a fire destroyed his photographic studio, Joseph Burish took a job at the state printing house. He is actively involved in the cultural life of Sofia. He was one of the founders of the chess society. The father of the future academician was also an avid tourist. Besides being a participant, he was also the author of the famous photo of the first mass ascent of Cherny Vrch organized by Aleko Konstantinov in the summer of 1895. A life dedicated to science, the young Ivan Burish inherits from his father the love for nature. Already in his school years he began collecting plants, minerals and insects. Burish was introduced to the world famous professor Profiri Pachmetiev, from whom he took his first lessons in insect classification and arranging them in scientific collections. He was selected a member of the Chess Entomological Society. In his scientific and administrative activities, Ivan Burish received materials and moral support from Tsar Boris III. It is said the two had known each other since the student years. This acquaintance grew gradually into a close friendship. Ivan Burish accompanied the Tsar to his travel abroad or to the royal residence of the royal Pistrica. He became one of the trusted men of the Bulgarian Tsar who had often visited him in the museum. Burish arranged the Tsar's official appointments in the office of the museum with various professors, men of science and with foreign scholars passing through Bulgaria. On August 1, 1914, Ivan Burish was appointed curator of the Royal Museum of the National History and four years later the new Bulgarian king Boris III appointed him director of all the Royal National History Institution in the country. The Natural History Museum, the Zoological and Botanical Gardens, the farm in Kirchim, Varna and others. At this point, Ivan Burish remains for more than quarter of a century dedicated to a huge research and organizational activities. He even moved to live in the museum with his family. We used to live in the museum. Our bedrooms were next to my father's study. He was very stubborn and organized person. He found time for everything. I think his work did not do me any harm, recalls his daughter. And that brings us to the end of our journey through the National Museum of Natural History. We hope enjoying learning about its rich history and the remarkable collection it houses. If you found this video informative and captivating, we kindly ask you to support our channel. Remember to like the video, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future exploration. We would love to hear your thoughts and comments on this fascinating museum or any other topic you'd like us to cover in the future. Your feedback is invaluable to us as we strive to bring you more engaging content. Thank you for joining us today and until next time, keep exploring, keep
keep learning and keep discovering the wonders of our world.